hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from what we have here this follows from the law of indices when we have a over b or raised to power n which is same thing as a raised to power n over b raised to power n that is what we have here same thing as k raised to power 6 over 3 raised to power 6 which is equals to 3 raised to the power 6 on this side. That is here, this is also divided by 1. Then cross and multiply here, k raised to the power 6 times 1, that's still k raised to the power 6. Then equals to 3 raised to the power 6 times 3 raised to the power 6, we have 3 raised to the power 6 times 3 raised to the power 6 here. Then also here we can apply the law of indices from a raised to the power n times b raised to the power n which is equals to a times b or raised to the power n. Then from here, it implies we have k raised to the power 6 equals to 3 times 3 or raised to the power 6. And this is the same thing as k raised to the power 6 equals to 9 raised to the power 6. Then let's take 9 raised to the power 6 to the left. Then it becomes minus. So we have k raised to the power 6 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. And we can equally write this as k raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 from the law of indices. 2 times 3 here will still be 6. Then minus. Here we have 9 raised to the power 3. Then raised to power 2, which is equals to 0 from here. Then this follows from when we have a square minus b square, which is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. That is here, a same thing as k raised to power 3, and b same thing as 9 raised to power 3. Then what we have here? becomes k raised to power 3 plus 9 raised to power 3 into bracket then open bracket k raised to power 3 minus 9 raised to power 3 close bracket which is equals to 0 from here it implies here we have two cases that is we have k raised to power 3 plus 9 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 or we have k raised to the power 3 minus 9 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 and let's solve from this first case here this follows from when we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3 which is equals to a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared that is from here this equation follows this and we have k plus 9 into brackets then open bracket k square minus k times 9 which is 9k then plus 9 squared which is equals to 0 from here then when we solve this further we have k plus 9 into bracket then also open bracket k square minus 9k plus 9 square 9 times 9 that's 81 equals to 0 from here then we have two cases as well which implies k plus 9 equals to 0 or we have k square minus 9k plus 81 equals to 0 that is solving on this side we have k equals to minus 9 then from this side we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 9 and c equals to 81 then from the formula which is k equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a 
here it implies that we have k equals to minus minus nine plus or minus square root of minus nine squared then minus four times one times eighty one then over two times one that is solving further here we have k equals to minus times minus plus so we have nine plus or minus square root of minus nine squared that's eighty one then minus we can still use as four times eighty one then over two then here eighty one is common we can factor that out and say this is k equals to nine plus or minus square root of 81 into bracket 1 minus 4 left here then over 2 that is same thing as k equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 times 1 minus 4 that's minus 3 then over 2 this 81 please then it implies here we can separate it as k equals to 9 plus or minus root 81 times root 3 times root minus 1 then over 2. That is we have k equals to 9 plus or minus root 81 that's 9 then root 3 root minus 1 we have i then over 2. Here we have two complex solutions here then from the second case here this follows from a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into bracket also into bracket a square plus a b plus b squared that is what we have here follows this and we have k minus 9 then into bracket k square plus k times 9 that's 9k then plus 9 squared close bracket which is equals to 0 here yeah. that is the same thing as k minus 9 into bracket also into bracket k square plus 9k plus 9 squared that's 81 close bracket equals to 0 and here we have two cases as well k minus 9 equals to 0 or we have k square plus 9k plus 81 equals to 0 that is here on this side we have k equals to 9 then solving on this side also we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 9 and c equals to 81 then from the formula as well which is k equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 a c over 2 a here k then equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 81 then over 2 times 1 then here we have k now equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 9 squared as 81 then minus let's delete as 4 times 81 then over 2 here which implies here we have k equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of 81 into bracket 1 minus 4 then over 2 then it implies we have k equals to minus 9 plus or minus root 81 times minus 3 then over 2 and we can separate this that is here this now becomes k equals to minus 9 plus or minus root 81 that's 9 then we have root 3 then root minus 1 there 
that's i which is complex then over two so also here we have two complex solutions from here which implies all together we have six solutions that is here we have k equals to nine which is ray also we have two complex solutions here and here also we have one resolution making two resolution and two complex solutions making four complex solutions now all together we have six solutions and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video and give it a thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section see you next class and bye for now